Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 4 of the UAF Carriers Only Let's Play. In episode 3, we managed to get our hands on an Isonoria prototype battle carrier. Super exciting. We also had a lovely chat with Nia and then a lovely chat with Anara and also managed to kill some enemies. Today, we're going to try and make some of the money back that we spent buying the Isonoria and also putting the Isonoria to the test. If you do like this video, make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing, and check me out on Twitch in the description below. But let's jump into this. So, we are currently in the Hemfayette system, um, and we need to get back to Ne... No, to Ocean Bradford, even. Um, we need to get back to Ocean Bradford uh, to go and pick up a new bounty quest so that we can test out our new ship. Our new Isonoria. Which hasn't been named yet. And it won't be named um, this episode as uh, the, uh, the... I'm recording this one immediately after the last one. And so I haven't seen any comments from the first... Or from the third episode, should I say. Um, but if you are tuning in and this is your first time tuning into this Let's Play, I highly encourage you go back and you start at episode one to see the rules of this challenge run, where we started and where we're headed. And new Aurora is here. Let's drop in by the station. Let's go and talk to the lovely Ocean Bradford. Hello, Ocean. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Do you have any work for me? A bounty? Oh, wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, let's see. Uh, what, have, what, what have you got that works for me? Only 12 light years away. I love that. 12 light years is not very far at all. And 84,000 credits. And we have a... Ooh, a falchion. Light Stolen Destroyer as the flagship of the enemy fleet. We are going to accept. And we are going to cut the comm link. We're going to go ahead and we're going to top ourselves up on fuel so that we can make it there. Uh, of course, picking up the battle cruiser uh, or the battle carrier has massively increased our uh, fuel and supplies cost. To an, well, not massively, but it has increased. Um, so we're going to go ahead and top up on those things. Cost 40,000. Woo! Uh, we're really quick, quickly just going to go and uh, check check the market and see what's up for sale. I think it might be good to pick up a woe tanker. Um, soon. There is a minoria, but it's a regular minoria. And I really feel like at this point, we can kind of be cheeky and look for uh, the, the higher minorias at this point in time. Um, the SPs. I think predominantly. Uh, then there's an Exoria here. Obviously, we cannot afford. And that is... Well, that is basically it. Uh, on the black market, there is... Uh, there is a Tsunami on the black market, which is another form of kind of carrier that has a, a fighter bay on it, but only a single fighter bay. Um, I, I feel like... I think... Um, yeah, it's a cruiser. It is a cruiser. So a, a single fighter bay on a cruiser is kind of low when, if you look at like the Exoria M, the Exoria M has three bays, um, which is of the same, the same tier. Um, but let's go to our bounty. And our bounty is... Wait, wait bounty. Hello, there it is. Right there. Let us be off. And here we are in the fearsome engine system. And we are going to fly around and look for our target. I'm really, really excited to see what this battle carrier is going to do. Um, I know it's going to be slow, but we did manage to speed it up. But more importantly, I really want to see what that heavy bomber. Ooh, a mining station. Anything exciting? Just a lot of ore. Oh, no. Oh, wonderful. Imperial fighters. Uh, a fullerene spool, um, which is an ultra strong carbon nanomesh cable that is the key to construction of a space elevator. Oh, this is a um, industrial expansion piece. 
VPC heavy armaments and VPC supplies and a nanite repair module. Also some volatiles. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Magnifico. All right, let's find our target regardless. I just, I really want to see what this heavy bomber does. I want to see what this heavy bomber does. There is our target. Move in to engage. 45 deployment points for this battle carrier. Woohoo! Uh, and we will, we will go ahead and uh, we will deploy... We will deploy the battle carrier, the Edelweiss, and the Avenger because I'm not quite sure how capable the battle carrier is going to be. So I don't want to just send the battle carrier in alone. Um, but we're going to go ahead and deploy those three ships and we are going to watch. Oh my goodness! That heavy... That heavy bomber is almost as big as the Exoria. I'm, it is almost as big as the Exoria. It is actually, factually, almost as big as the Exoria. And the, the, the gunship? Gunship is huge as well. It looks like a penguin. I understand its name now. It looks like a penguin. <laughs> oh, the, the, the heavy bomb has been launched. The heavy bomber has been launched. Here it goes. Oh, please. Woo! Where's it going now? Is it going? It's going after the hound? The hound's been destroyed. Go on, heavy bomber. <laughs> Go on. No. Oh, the shepherd's gone too. Right, back to ship. Okay, well, we didn't really get to see what the heavy bomber got up to. We did see that the penguin... I can't remember the name of the actual ship, but I'm going to call it a penguin. Um, the, 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 the penguin is very strong um, and awesome. We didn't quite get to see the heavy bomber in action, but we will make sure that that changes. Um, we will make sure that changes indeed. Uh, now, let's see here. Do we really want all of these? No, not really. I prefer the supplies right now. Um, honestly, I prefer the supplies there as well. There is our bounty completed, though. Let us have a look on the map real quick. Uh, and we will go to bounties. Are there any nearby? Um, there is a pirate base bounty. Oh, I wonder what the heavy bomb is like against the pirate bases. Oh, I feel like the heavy bomber is probably really strong against the pirate bases. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. Mm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to auto save because auto save is telling us to auto save. Well, we're going to save because auto save is telling us to save. Um. <laughs> oh, Arsenal Station. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. That is a lot of value. That is that is a lot of value. That I can't make a huge amount of use of, unfortunately, because we just don't have the storage space. You just don't. You don't have the storage space. That is so gutting. I mean, I have to take the heavy armaments, right? have to take the heavy armaments i'd be ridiculously silly not to and probably the drugs too we just got to be aware that our supplies are low let's just hover around here real quick and um 
Because we're using up some supplies to repair the Edelweiss. There we go. So let's... Now we can grab some more of the supplies. Um, and... Do we still want to head there? Or do we just want to kind of get home and unload? I think we just want to get home and unload right now. Because we've got a full inventory. And I feel like we should really look at spending some of our money on uh, picking up a fuel tanker and picking up a freighter. Uh, so stuff like this doesn't happen again. And like we can be out and we can actually make full use of the discoveries and, 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 and the loot and all of those sorts of things. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go and look at picking up a freighter and a tanker. And we are back in the Aoi system. Flying off to the wonderful new auroria um and yeah we, we're gonna we're gonna try and pick up a, we're gonna try and pick up a freighter and a tanker so that the what just happened doesn't ever happen again um and we don't leave thousands upon thousands of credits of equipment and bits just lying out in orbit uh multiple systems away that can't we we're not yeah we can't have that happening again no that is a huge waste of resource. Um, so, let's go ahead and sell these heavy armaments. Let's sell these recreational drugs. Sell the volatiles. Um, we will hold on to the VPCs for now. This is huge, by the way. This is absolutely massive for when we get our own colony, which is hopefully not too far away. This is kind of cool. Might be able to make use of it at some point in time. We're going to go ahead and sell all these weapons, the valuable, valuable weapons. We're also going to sell the blueprints here um, as they are not UAF blueprints. And as such, we do not care for them. And that is that. Uh, we're also going to sell this blueprint package right there. Um, so that's a wonderful 106,000 credits after tax, which we absolutely love. Um, and we're going to go fleet, purchase, uh, and we could buy a Tsutsumu. We could buy a Tsutsumu, which is, of course, the large tanker, the big old tanker, which is a 3,250 capacity fuel and has a fighter bay in it, amazingly. <laughs> um, uh, or we could go for the Woe, um, which has a 1,275 fuel capacity. But maintenance-wise, it uses 10, which is halved from our ability, so 5. Um, and then its, um, its fuel cost is 2. Uh, whereas the Sutsumo is 12 and 4.5. So actually... Maintenance wise, it's not too much more expensive supplies wise, um, but fuel wise, it is twice as expensive. Um, I think we're going to go with the Sutsumu. Wonderful. There we go. We have a Sutsumu. Um, so if you guys would like to uh to name the sutsumu then please do go ahead um for right now we're going to add auxiliary fuel tanks we're going to add expanded cargo holds we're going to add reinforced bulkheads and we're going to add hardened subsystems and uh we are going to add some vents and some capacitors like so and we're not going to equip it with anything um for the time being and then we are at the ludic path. The ludic path. Please. The, <laughs> the ludic path. Um, right, waifus. And this will be the T1 fueler. Um, but we will rename that. We will rename that. Um, uh, soon, soon. Uh, and then we also, we are still interested in picking up a freighter of some kind. That has actually massively increased our cargo, pass, cargo capacity to all the way up to 1440. Um, which might be just about enough for now. Uh, what am I looking at? Fleet here. Buy. Um, there aren't any freighters here, are there? Nope. How about from the military? Uh, 
Why would the military be, why would the military be selling Tim? Please. <laughs> I wonder if the military are selling freighters. <laughs> um, we still can't buy from the November Auxiliary, and um, these are not UAF freighters, so we are not interested because we are interested purely and only in waifus and waifus alone. Are we not? Are we not? Let me know in the comments below if you are purely and only interested in waifus and waifus alone. <laughs> so for now, we're just going to have to deal with the um, the tanker, which honestly, uh, 5,500 fuel capacity and 1,440 cargo capacity. We're in a much, much sweeter spot, I think. Um, so we're going to buy all of that fuel, which is still even less than a fifth of our fuel capacity now. Um, and we are going to buy um, a decent chunk of supplies there, which is going to burn through some of our cash. But that's fine. 600 supplies, 1,011, well, 1,100 fuel. Um, makes me feel rather comfortable. Uh, and so we're going to go speak to Ocean. Hello, lovely Ocean. I would like another job, please. Um, observation package. It's okay, Ocean. I actually don't want another job. Thank you very much. Um, you are wonderful and special and dear to me. Uh, but not today. Uh, now we have a personal bounty. And this guy is running a super freighter. He's running an Atlas. Two crew. Oh. Oh, I want to do this, but I also just don't know if we can. I don't know if we can. <laughs> well, save the game. And hopefully we don't just outright get completely demolished and deaded. I think we can do it. And I think we'll finally get to see the heavy bomber do some, like, real sort of, like, mega damage. But at the same time, I'm very nervous that we might just lose our entire fleet here. Now, I'd be really interested to, to, to hear what you guys are interested in um, for, the, for the Let's Play. Uh, would you, like, if I were to die here, if I am to die here... Would you, and please let me know in the comments um, about this, would you prefer that I just carried on and, like, because the, the, obviously the, the game spits you back out in a system with, like, a couple of, like, crappy shuttles or something that says, hey, start again. Um, would you prefer that I carried on like that? Or would you prefer that I save scummed back and went, actually, that was too dangerous. That was my mistake and carried on that way. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Um about that one um so please do let me know in the comments below and i'm asking that even though by the end of this episode you will know whether i will have died or not and frankly and i'm gonna be entirely honest here i think we've got this i think we've got this so we're gonna do it we're gonna find out there's the fleet 86 percent I think we've got this. I think we've got this. Deploy all. Deploy all. I love that the heavy bomber like affixes to the backside of the Isonoria. Like the heavy bomber actually like attaches to the backside of it until it's time to go. I really love that. I love that. I love the attention to detail there. Um, we are going to pick this up, right? Yeah, the Isonori is going to grab it. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Well, the first... First combat goes to us. The kite is dead. That's it. Clearly, we win now because we killed the kite, right? That's the biggest threat on the enemy team. 100%. Um, now, the heavy bomber has been released. Where is it heading, though? That is the question. The fighters are moving in for the mule. Is the heavy bomber going for the mule? The heavy bomber is... It's launched something. Oh, no, it launched its point defense drones. Ah, yes, it's point defense drones. The fact that the fighter has fighters... I just want to point out that the Isonoria launches a fighter that has fighters. I want to make this very clear. 
Also, the armor on this thing, it, it just doesn't care. It just doesn't care. Look at it. It just doesn't care. <laughs> it just doesn't care. He's walking away. It's nothing. Then again, it does have more armor than the, the than its mothership, so that's not entirely surprising. Now, this battle has really spread out here. Um, where? Oh, we are no, we are clumped up here. We are actually clumped up. Our fighters seem to be all over the place, though. Oh! Oh, what is going on? The heavy bomber. I th there was a massive explosion. The Cerberus and the Hound died. And then the Heavy Bomber just flew out of the massive explosion like it was nothing. Although the Heavy Bomber... Oh, the Heavy Bomber is getting messed up. No, it's okay. It's free. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. Get back to the Isonoria for repairs. Get back to the Isonoria for repairs. You'll be okay. You'll... The Isonoria just keeps flying away from it, though. Poor thing. The, 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 the Heavy Bomber's like, Mommy! And the, and, the, and the mom's just like, I am in danger! <laughs> um, and it has landed. Wonderful. Get those repairs. Get those repairs. Okay. Oh, some damage. Not really going through on the rhyme. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Big hits on the rhyme. Huge hits on the Rhine with some missiles there. Huge hits on the Rhine. The Heavy Bomber has launched full HP again. Wonderful to see. Another kite down, another hound down. I believe. I believe. I believe. I do, do believe. Woo! The Heavy Bomber takes down the Gambit. I love how the Heavy Bomber basically flies on top of the enemy ships. And it just drops a payload literally like in, like point blank on top of them. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! We've just lost both our Minoria D-Class and our Heavy Bomber. Oh dear. Oh dear. The Minoria SP's combat readiness is going to start decreasing soon. I got you. We've got this. I believe. I believe. I believe. We have got this. I believe we've got this. We've still got three ships. The Isonoria currently only has a gunship left. I'm not entirely sure where that gunship is right now. Um... Maybe it doesn't have a gunship left. Maybe the Isonoria has nothing left. That would be... It says 50% on fighters. Maybe the gunship is docked and repairing. There goes more ships. The Rhyme's gone. The Afflictor's gone. The Hound is gone. We, 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 we're getting kills here. We're getting kills. But at the same time, in a war of attrition, I'm not sure we have enough. Look at all those missiles fire. My goodness, the Exoria takes out another shade. It looks like the battle is coming down to the Falcon, the Atlas, and the Gremlin versus the Edelweiss, the Avenger, and the Z1. But I... I, I <laughs> I don't think the Z1 has any offense anymore. I think the Z1 is pure defense at this point in time because I believe both the Penguin... I know the Heavy Bomb is gone, but I think, believe the Penguin is down as well, and the Penguin takes ages to come back. 
I believe. Oh no, there's the penguin. The penguin's back. Okay, the penguin has come back now. The penguin is back on the field, so the Isonoria does have some offensive. Again, this is huge. Uh, I feel like we should or we should set up a we should set up an order here. Um where I just tell everything. Uh, oh, did the falcon go down? Did I miss the falcon going down? I think I must have. I'm gonna tell everything, all the fighter strikes on the Atlas. I wanna see I wanna see the Atlas just 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 get absolutely annihilated here. Uh that is what I wanna see. So we've got full orders, fighter strike on the Atlas. That big cannon. Oh that is a dangerous cannon coming from the Atlas. The Gremlin has been destroyed. It is now just the Atlas. Oh, they're, they're, the Falcon retreated. The Falcon retreated. Okay. Um, that's fine. Let's just kill this Atlas. We have one. So we did do it like I thought, I thought we could. Um, we definitely took some losses. It was definitely a hard-fought battle. But... Um, I'm just gonna switch the the, the hill look here so we can see better. And just see all these beautiful fighters harassing the Atlas. It's Omni Shields not being able to keep up with the speed of the fighters. However, the spy it does have a lot of point defense and anti-fighter weaponry. And the, the fighters did go down. Um, but that's okay. More fighters are launching in. They're spinning around, they're preventing the, the Atlas's Omni Shields from being effective. They're doing damage. Missiles are going in. Ballistic weaponry flying all over. It's a slow one, but we are winning. We are winning, slowly. Penguin doesn't seem to be engaging. Now, I understand that it is a, it is a defensive gunship. It is designed to protect. But at this point in time, I really feel like it should... Especially with the, uh, the, 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 the fighter strike order. It really should be just going in and, and doing some work. Um. I wonder if I... If I grab the Isonoria specifically here. And... Can I tell it to be... Aggressive? Maybe I just, it, maybe I, you know what? I'll just order full assault. I'll order full assault and see what happens there. Does the penguin go aggressive now? It doesn't matter because the Atlas has got absolutely destroyed. Is that a shepherd? Where did the shepherd come from? <laughs> Where did this tiny little shepherd come from? I'm not sure. But we have won, ladies and gentlemen, friendos and MPs. We have won a battle where the odds were stacked against us significantly. And that is something to be proud of. Truly, truly proud of. Now, they're, they're a falcon and a rhyme and a shrike. Two strikes. All managed to run away there. Do we want to pursue? Yeah, of course we want to pursue them, don't we? Of course we want to pursue them. Um, Now, we're only going to pursue with the Isonoria and the Edelweiss because combat readiness of the Avenger is very low. Um, We're going to proceed with deployment. We are going to order full assault. Yes, and go. Go, go, go. Woo! That heavy bomber just got flung out. Oh, and there goes the Falcon straight away. The biggest ship in the enemy fleet. It's gone. Alpha striked into nothingness. The, the heavy bomber appears to be trying to link up to the Isonoria and failing significantly right now. Um, <laughs> come on, you've got this. You got this heavy bomber. You can you can you can connect to mommy. Oh, oh, 
Hey, you got it. You got it. You got it. Wonderful. I said full assault is on. I don't know quite why. Yeah, that's it. Forwards. Fully forwards. Full assault. Let's go. Hi, Sonoria. Where is your penguin? Did the penguin get destroyed? Again? Oh, no. There's the penguin. Okay. The heavy bomber has been launched. I just... I love the idea of the, this... This ship having a fighter that then has its own fighters. <laughs> it's incredible. It's incredible. It truly is incredible. I love it so much. Can we get to the rhyme before it flees the battlefield? And I think the answer is yes. The rhyme has realized that it can't get away. And it has died. It has perished to us. All that is now left are the Shrikes and Drake's ghost, but is... Oh. Uh, we're going to consider ship recovery here. We're going to repair. We're going to bring back our Minoria, of course. And that's all we're going to grab because the rest of the ships aren't UAF. They are not UAF perfection. They are weird pirate ships. And who wants to fly weird pirate ships? Not a proud member of the UAF. No. Let's pick through the wreckage. And now because of our new ship, we can just click the take all button and not worry a single bit. Yes, some of our ships are dangerously low. Um, indeed. However, there we go. A massive 142,000 credit bounty. Plus 8,100 from the Auroran Commission on top of that. We're going to go ahead and save because we did win a battle that was stacked against us. And I am proud of myself and and, and, and proud, proud of my captains and my officers um, for what they did. And now we're going to get out of here and get home to go see the wonderful Ocean Bradford. Um, so let's go. We are six days of repairs. And we got a level up. Carrier Timo got a level up. In fact, he's actually almost going to level up again, um, which is huge. Um, we are ideally trying to get to the whole restoration mod. Which we'll get at level five uh for now though we need to put another one in industry so that we can get hull restoration at level five and the the best choice for me i think is containment procedures reduces base fuel increases fuel salvaged emergency burn no longer reducing combat readiness and massively reduced crew loss due to hull damage It's a no-brainer. At least to me, it's a no-brainer. Um, we're going to go check our officers here um, real quick. Um, because I think, yes, Henry Henry does indeed have a level up. Gunnery implants is a huge, huge, huge skill um, for point defense. It's excellent for point defense. Um, target leading accuracy for auto-firing weapons. Uh, ballistic and energy weapon range and minus 25% weapon recoil all apply very very well to point defense helmsmanship however for carriers i believe is superior um because top speed and maneuverability on a carrier can be the difference between life and death um tell me if i'm wrong in the co in, in the comments i would love to hear um and of course our d-class minoria has now got three d mods um, with the latest one being increased maintenance, which is a pain, but it is not too bad. And here we are back in Aoi, um, heading to New Auroria. Home, sweet home, after a long and dangerous trip away. Any lost friends through damaged vessels, but we were victorious. In clearing out the pirate menace we have just run out of supplies but it's okay because we're just about to arrive at the star fortress so we don't have to worry we almost had to worry 
We did not have to worry. And then I sell some bits that I didn't want to sell that. No. Good. Worried for just a brief moment. But it all is well. We're going to go ahead and just buy not that much. 700 supplies. All of the fuel. Confirm. Wonderful. Wonderful. We have 300,000 credits to our name. We have a fleet that is starting to come together. Starting to come together. Very, very nicely. Let's go ahead and uh, just quickly see what is available on the market. I wonder if that Exoria M is still available. Uh, it is unfortunately not. Unfortunately, the Exoria M seems to have been picked up by someone else. It's a real shame because I really did kind of want to pick up that Exoria M. Um, the Exoria M being my favorite uh, cruiser. Uh, with its three fighter bays. Uh, now, the Shinoria is technically a two fighter bay cruiser here. Um... And it's a very, very maneuverable cruiser. It's a very, very maneuverable cruiser. It is a carrier. Um, it is a carrier. Um, and I think... I think we want to pick it up. 176,000 credits is just fine. It is a base Shinoria. It isn't any... It isn't a Shinoria M. It isn't a Shinoria SP. It is a base Shinoria. But... I think we need to have a Shinoria in our fleet. I think we need to have a Shinoria in our fleet. So we're going to go ahead and put a Shinoria in our fleet. So we have two ships. Three ships to name. Sorry. Three ships to name this episode. Uh, and I'm going to very quickly um, uh, sort this one out. We have 136,000 credits to our name. And I think we're going to look for some fighters here. And mm. Mm, 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 mm. what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? The the Naga, the Naga advanced attacker wings are definitely they're definitely calling out to me. They're definitely calling out to me here. Now, admittedly, I kind of wish I knew what those weapons are. The Edge Type 1 SPC and the Meripaka 20 EPD. I think that's fully guns, right? Whereas the Forlorn Fighter Wing has the 40mm cannons, but it also has the missiles. It also has the missiles. And I feel like in a carrier and fighter heavy environment, while I am still early on enough to not have like dedicated carriers for each things, like I don't have carriers carrying bombers and carriers carrying um, like anti-fighter fighters and I don't have like gunship carriers and stuff. While everything's still a little bit foggy and a little bit messy, I think the Forlorns are quite possibly the, uh, the best choice here multi-role attacker though multi-role attacker all right we're gonna go with forlorns we're gonna go with a double set of forlorns um we're gonna go with a double set of forlorns because they have both got the cannons and the missiles they function as um hybrid attackers um in a way uh and so that's gonna be exactly what we want so we're gonna jump in we're gonna grab some hardened subsystems we are going to grab our top speed is 70, so we don't need to go for the um, unstable injector. That's no problem. Um, we are going to slide in with some reinforced bulkheads. And we really do need to start picking up some more mods. I need to... We need to... Maybe next episode, we'll go out and we'll do a bunch of searching in the expanse and seeing if we can pick up some mods. Um, and, but also, we, I should be looking at shops more for mods. I don't... I, I, I need to get into the habit of looking at shops more. The moment I don't do it. Um, in terms of that, I think that's fine. 
I think hardened subsystems, reinforced bulkheads. Uh, then let's have a look. We've got small ballistic turrets. Um, we'll go for the micro flax. Um, and then we've got a small composite turret. And we will go for... Uh, we've got the Rainer PDs. Yep. Um, and then we have... Some medium turrets. We'll run Vulcan cannons on the medium turrets. Like so. And then we have the medium universal. And we will run... Where are the anti-fighter missile pods? There is a there is an anti-fighter missile pod that you can get. And that's really sort of like what I'm looking for. Oh, no, here it is. Yeah, yeah. It's the chorus. Wonderful. Boom. There is three missile point defenses. Can we actually put those on the Isonoria as well then? Um... Oh, really? So it, the, the the large universal hardpoint here can only take large. It can't take medium or smaller. Fascinating. Okay, I thought it... I thought... Okay, okay, okay. I thought wrong. I clearly thought wrong. Um, but that's fine. That is fine. That also means... I think we can actually... If we drop the vents down here on the Exoria... Can we get the... Can we get the chorus... Beautiful. Beautiful. We've got the chorus on the Exoria as well, on the Edelweiss, uh, which brings me very, very happy. Um, so that is the hard points, the fighter bays, the whole features and mods, and we still have a decent chunk of points here. And I think what we're going to go for is the dedicated targeting core. The reason for that is just increasing the range of point defense is never a bad thing. Increasing the range of point defense is never a bad thing. Um, it definitely doesn't say that it doesn't work for point defense, so it definitely will. So, sorted. Uh, then we'll just go ahead and slam um, all of our points into vents there. 610. Wonderful. Beautiful. Um, and then that is going to be the waifus uh, X. To, uh, I, it, technically, it should be X1 because we don't have an X1 anymore. But I'm going to go with X2 because we all remember that the the Edelweiss was the X1. Um, maybe I keep the X, to, like, so, like, it would be the waifu's X1 Edelweiss um, and the, the waifu's S1 Avenger. Um, and we could do that, maybe. What well, food for thought? But if you think, if you can think of a name up for the waifu's X2, the Shinoria class carrier, then please do let me know in the comments below. But that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the love that you have been showing um, on previous episodes. I really, really appreciated it. It's been lovely um, sort of like seeing a lot of new faces um, in the comments section and a lot of new subscribers um, due to the Star Sector content. So thank you guys very much. If you haven't hit that like button already, please do hit that like button. Consider subscribing and check me out on Twitch. The link is in the description below. As always, stay safe out there. Enjoy the chocolate lava cake. Oh well.